guys, Corey Ballard, Ballard Products. Today we're going to show you the advanced shoot installation on an XMAR uh, 48 Vantage. Uh, most mowers are similar, but a lot of, get a lot of questions about how they get installed in the brackets. So we're going to walk you through an XMAR model today. You'll also see on our website, we're going to show you a John Deere um, and also a Skag as well. So similar installation. The instructions are a, t a little bit tough to follow. Um, as you can see, we've got this all laid out here for you. We're going to walk you through step by step. Remember that some mowers, including Skag, Ferris, Simplicity, Snapper, and Bobcat, we send a curved attachment at the back to close off the deck if you choose to. Uh, there's a little bit of gap based on the way those decks are designed. So we're going to walk through this X mark today step by step. So stay tuned. Watch this video here now that Bob's going to show you how to do this. Thanks, guys. As you can see, I've got all my hardware laid out sitting here by the mower. First thing I'm going to do is put the chute up against the mounting bracket itself. For that, you take your two 3 8 bolts, nylon washers, and your lock nuts. A little, little bit of grease on the nylon washers on each side helps it swivel. Okay, set your chute up against your mounting bracket, slide your bolt through, put your nylon washer on, just get it started on there, and put your nylon lock nut on. Same case over here, at this point you're ready to snug that down so you can set it up against your mower. Okay, we've got the handle installed on this model, 48 inch, battery box may get in your way if you try to set it back too far. So at this point, I wanted to make sure we had room, we're going to mark, we're going to mark the holes, I'm going to go to the back one and make sure that we've got clearance here. As you can see, we don't yet come ahead about another quarter inch. We've got movement. So, make sure you get your spacer in here. Go just to the height of the factory mounted brackets. So, with this case here, we've got it setting right on there. I'm going to remove this, mark it, and drill it. This time, you put your washers in here. You have to be above the factory bracket just a little bit. Run your bolt up through the bottom. this point we want to set this on here and you're ready to put a nut on here what I always do is snug it down just a little bit and then you line up your other ones I'm ready to mark my other two I got those two lined up right where I want them Other two in there. Okay, at this point we're going to snug it down, 
check our fit. Everything looks good right at that position. Okay, as you can see, we've got plenty of room where the arm goes just in front of your battery box. And we're ready to finish up the application. At this point, I've already installed the handle, put grease between the two nylon washers. You're ready to add your, your bolt in here. You get a lot of people ask and say this bolt doesn't fit. Well, they try to run it the opposite way and it will not. Okay, put your nylon lock nut on 7 16 head. Make sure you get into where you can feel the end of the bolt coming out so the nylon's gripping. Okay, at this point, we're gonna put the spring on here. Let's take the, the weight off. Fit it through the little back hole back there. Get a hold of it good. It's pretty strong. Pop it on there. That will make it work. Hey guys, we got the advanced chute now on this 48 inch Vantage. We had to move this forward just a little bit to clear the battery box on your 52s and up. You might not have to do that. Um, you'll notice it's ahead of the deck here a little bit, which is not a problem and not quite as low as the deck, which is better that it's up a little bit. With the velocity created underneath these mowers, uh, most of the grass comes out of the top of the discharge anyways. Remember, this isn't exactly a full mulching kit. Uh, it's just gonna allow you to close down the chute uh, and reduce the clippings when you're in tight areas around vehicles, houses, cars, mulch beds, those types of things. And these holes are actually crucial. Um, it keeps the airflow underneath your deck. When you see the plates that are completely flat without holes, um, it stops the vacuum and most of the clippings just fall in that third baffle. So these are actually crucial and, and really no grass comes through these holes. So on this stander, what you'll see you, you can do here, take this grip off. If you get the extended handle kit, slide this right over. And then from the platform, decide where you want to get this. So from right here, I may want to put it right there so a short guy like myself can reach up, open, and close that. Uh, the extended handle does not come with any hardware, so just get it lined up. There's a couple holes drilled here. Just run two self-tappers in it once you get it in the position that you like it and where it's most comfortable. Make sure you test it a little bit so it doesn't hit the engine or anything else. But right there, looks like we've got full movement all the way open. Again, this stays open when you're mowing. You're going to be mowing with this open 90% of the time like normal. You close it down in those tight areas. So again, this is the X-Mark installation. Most mowers are similar. Just remember, you got to use the spacers to raise the platform up and raise the mounting bracket up above your factory grass tabs like here on this mower. Uh, we're going to show you on a couple other models. We appreciate the support. You can check us out at bower-inc.com, blow us up on Facebook, Instagram, and make sure you check out our YouTube channel. Thanks, guys.